Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. So most people know that I, I weld, and that's kind of like my day gig, is I weld stuff up, I sell it on my website and send it out the door. And, and that's like a dream come true because I, I enjoy welding. It's, it's something I've always wanted to do. And uh, it's fun. It's fun and, and uh, while sometimes it might be a little mundane, kind of doing a lot of the same stuff, is still something that every time I do it, I try to do the best I can, and and I find you know that's that's my passion. So I wanted uh, talking with a few friends. I have you know a few friends that are into welding. I get uh, a lot of uh, messages you know all the time. You know, ask me questions. People, I, I sell some welding stuff. Uh, you know, some some cups and and uh, and bottom line is I get a lot of messages. You know, people asking me a lot of questions. And don't mind that at all. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> and uh, I'll, always happy, you know, if I can uh, to help somebody out. And remember, if that's you know something you you want to try to do, um, I always feel like you know try to do your research. Uh, but if you're going to ask a question, you know, you should have a semi clue of, of what it is you're talking about, so we can. You know, and, and, and understand, <clears throat> excuse me, understand some of the language, just like in any profession, you know, welding has, especially TIG welding, it's got its own language going on, and you should be able to at least be able to hold a conversation with that language. So, you know, know what tungsten is, know what AC is and DC, and uh, the frequencies, the AC balances, amps, all gas, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, so my friends been hitting me up. They they've gotten TIG welders and they want to know just the basics. I said, you know, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while. My wife is learning how to TIG weld right now. She just took an interest in it and she's doing really well. And it's been fun, you know, teaching her that. And I kind of thought maybe I could take some of the stuff, you know, as I go through teaching her because it's like watching myself again, you know, reliving those growing pains, you know, that that everybody goes through when they start welding. So, so I. To not ramble on too long, I, I decided I'm going to do a, you know, like a little series on, you know, the basics of what you need to know to get going in welding. I learned welding by watching Welding Tips and Tricks videos, Jody, Jody Collier, and I listened to every single one of their podcasts so that, you know, you can go on to uh, your iTunes and pound in Welding Tips and Tricks and subscribe to that. And then you should go to Jody's channel on YouTube and subscribe to that. And you should probably go back if you really care about what this, you know, doing this and watch all of his videos because he, there, I don't think there's anybody better than him in, in what he does and the, the ability and his ability to film, you know, uh, what it is he's doing for you. You know, it's like, I, I'm gonna, I got this TIG welder, what next? Because that was... Uh, asking people that seemed to be uh, their their primary, you know, question, and and I can understand that. You know, I, I I've been there, I've you know went through trying to figure out what I need, what I don't need, you know, and, and buying stuff and parts, and I bought a lot of stuff that you know I couldn't use, it doesn't fit, it's still sitting in a drawer right now, and uh, I, I bought a bunch of filler rod that's still sitting in a pile. I, I bought like three thirty seconds still filler rod and. Usually the, the, the thickest thing I ever weld is like, uh, you know, maybe one eighth inch. So that's a total waste and that was a total waste. So hopefully we can go through some of the things. I already have a video on buying a machine and it's it's kind of long, but if you just go to my cheap TIG welder series and I'll try to, I'll put it below because I'm not going to redo that. You know, it's I've already went over how to uh, look for a welder and the features that are in the welder and what they mean and what you want, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put that down there. I suggest you watch it uh, at least the first, like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes of it. And I, I talk about all the features and, and then you can tune out and drop it off. It, it was a bit long and the audio wasn't that great, but uh, it's, it's, there's valuable stuff there. Let's see for the basics for most people, I'll talk to people and they said, you know, uh, what do you want to do? What, what's your goals? And they'll, uh, be, you know, I want to, I want to fab turbo kits because that's what I do, right? And I, I build up stuff for turbo stuff. So generally those people fall in that scope of, I want to get a TIG welder to work on my car. And that means that they want to 
weld mild steel, they want to TIG weld mild steel, they want to TIG weld stainless steel, and they want to TIG weld aluminum. So at the, at the bare bones minimum, uh, I would say that you need to be into uh, 160, 165 amps. I can't remember what the diversion is. I want to say it's 165, like their base model, like the, the, the bottom model. Uh, but you, that's, I would say that's like the minimum cutoff. I'd shoot for 200 amps. Uh, just because it gives you a little flexibility, uh, you know, when, when you need it, that power, it's nice to have it. And these days you can get that for not a whole lot more. Uh, a friend of mine got a, a machine. Uh, there's lots of good stuff out there. So just off the top of my head, and I hope I don't, uh, number one is HTP. I love that. That's what I weld with. Uh, people that I looked up to when I first got into welding was, was using that machine. So I, I, I said, hey, you know, that's, that's probably the machine. I did a lot of research, you know, I was kind of torn between the Miller and the HTP. Uh, they both, you know, seem to have the, 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 the substance, you know, behind it. It had, you know, that I knew that if there was a problem with the machine, then I could probably take it somewhere. Or, you know, like with HTP, they allow you to call them up and they'll help you diagnose the machine. Uh, because if you're, you know, your paychecks a pin, on that machine being up and running, then you know that's that's a given. You, you know, if that if that's the case, you know, if you're making that, I really would you know, recommend Miller, uh, Lincoln, and HTP is is one of those those choices. There might be some other you know stout machines out there now. I'm not really well versed on all of them. Uh, then there's the uh, Chinese ones, uh, which is the uh, Everlast. I think make some really good machines right now it, with, with some versatility to them. Uh, so does the AHP, I think it's called, or the, or the, the Alpha TIG. It, it's a 200 and it's, it's got pulse settings and, and, and uh, ACDC. But uh, those are some nice machines. And I would say, you know, they're, you know for the money, as a hobbyist, it would be hard to, to beat that. So you do your research and you figure out, you know, what's the best bang for your buck. Actually, I've heard good things about the uh, new stuff from Harbor Freight too. Haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna speak to it, but uh, the other stuff I have, and uh, it's, it's uh, you know, do your homework and figure out what you need. I'd say the bare bones you need to have uh, 200 amps, you need to have AC, DC, and you need to have a high frequency start. Uh, those things will generally make your life easier. Uh, I do like Pulse. There's situations where I, 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 I use it and it has a, a, it has a value. Um, I like being able to adjust the frequency on my AC uh, and some machines don't. Like the diversion is just set whatever the factory preset is. Maybe it's like 60 or 100 somewhere between there. Uh, hertz, um, nothing, you can't deal with that, you know, I, you can make that work. Uh, some of the best welds I've ever seen was uh, my, one of my friends Aldo at Aldo Welds, he owns Aldo Welds, uh, using this Miller <laughs> from, from probably the 70s, I would guess, maybe the late 70s, maybe early 80s, and it was just a big transform with the lever, and bam, but he would make just beautiful welds and there wasn't anything he couldn't do. You know, which is probably a true measure of, of a welder, you know, is that you can put them on any machine and they can weld well. Uh, but some of those cheats are nice to have. So that's just the basics. <coughs> so uh, I hope you guys um, come along with this series and uh, go watch that video about how to pick stuff out. And uh, in the next set, we're going to talk about... Um, you bought the machine and now you need to get it running. We're going to talk about wiring. So I think that the, the topics I'll want to touch on is, is uh, getting the machine wired in and working. Um, you know, get the machine, which I've already done. Read, you know, go watch it. Uh, get the machine wired up and working. Uh, what you need to run the machine. You know, the, the, the torch parts, the, the air you're going to need, the gas you'll need, the... Uh, tungstens, the fillers, um, that that sort of thing. And then we might go into just some basic, you know, here's how to weld some joints or, or here's how, you know, how to make these, what this different settings do and how to apply them. And it'll just be kind of a, a bare bones, uh, get your feet wet, but if maybe we can do it in like, you know, 
four or five videos maybe and that way you can drop in hopefully keep them short and to the point and it won't ramble on like i'm doing now too much more and that way you can just you know pop up watch them and, and uh use that as a guide and what you need you know to purchase and, and that stuff so uh next video we'll, we'll cover wiring of your machine you're of a 200 uh, 220 machine and uh that's it, right? <laughs> so, so thanks for tuning in uh, to, to Monkey Fab. I appreciate you stopping by, checking out the videos. Don't forget to go watch that. I think it was the first one in the cheap, uh, picking out a cheap TIG series video or something like that, but I'll, I'll drop it in the comments below. And uh, Mike from Monkey Fab out.